Hey everyone, uh, my name is Shane Horn. If you're new to this channel, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be, um, I'm hoping to start up a new review channel where I review different audio products. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about these, the Hi-Fi Man Anandas. Um, and for those of you who are longtime viewers, you'll know I've gone through a lot of different changes over the course of this channel's life. And hey, I don't think there's anything too wrong with that. Um, but to get things started, Again, I'm talking about the Hi-Fi Man Anandas today. Uh, just to get it out of the way, these are $700 headphones. $699 currently on Amazon. I know they normally go for around $1,000, but headphones tend to always go on sale, especially from Hi-Fi Man. Now, the reason why I bring up the price first is because I know um, sometimes the price can be a huge turnoff for a lot of people, but that's why I just want to hear that and from then on you can start to judge you know everything just based off the price so to get things started off yes they were $6.99 and to go with the rest of the specs they run from 8 hertz all the way up to 55 kilohertz pretty good extended range uh, they run on 25 ohms which um, these are very efficient headphones um, and 25 ohms basically means that you're going to be able to run these off of just about anything uh, be it your smartphone your computer whatever it may be Although these will definitely benefit from having a dedicated amp and DAC. It's just going to make them sound well to their full potential. They have a sensitivity of 103 decibels per milliwatt, which is, again, very efficient. Those are going to get very loud from a decent amount of input. And um, they weigh in at 399 grams or just a tiny bit over 14 ounces, meaning these are surprisingly lightweight given <laughs> their size. Um, so to go over the build quality, um, it is a very common thing I see being talked about with Hi-Fi Man. Um, a lot of people are saying that the quality control within their factories is a little iffy. And um, well, that does still stand true for the Anandas, but it's really not as bad as what I've heard. Like I've heard horror stories from other people. It's definitely not as bad as that will get. So to start off, it has a spring steel headband. Um, very good tension as just as you want it's um a good clamp force though it's not like great enough to um get any you know pain off of your head going over to the suspension arms it has a good strong click to it the sound is a little bit grainy but it is still um, strong enough to feel that it's locking into place The arms themselves are also made out of steel. It's not spring steel, but it's still a good metal. <laughs> One of the issues I can see with this is the fact that they do tilt just as any headphone should, but they don't have any swivel. It's just one solid piece across here. Now, thankfully for me, um, having the average size head that I do, this is not a problem. It fits on my head perfectly fine. Though, I can't say the same for everyone because, you know, everyone's head is shaped differently. But that's just, <laughs> that's the way things go. Um, the housing on the ear cups itself are plastic, but it is a good plastic. The ear pads themselves are made out of a good leather. They are nice and comfortable. I would say these are inch and a half thick to the ear cup. And um, on the inside, it's kind of a microfiber cloth. I can very comfortably and honestly say that these are very comfortable headphones. Um, just over the past couple of days, I've worn them for several hours at a time. And even just the other day, I must have had them on for what must have been eight hours. And the only discomfort that I've had was um, from my glasses. And that's just something I can't really get away from without taking them off when I listen to my music. But what are you going to do? And then we move over to the cable. It comes with two different cables in the box. One of them terminates in a 3.5 millimeter jack, and the other one comes with a quarter inch. The 3.5 mil is definitely very sturdy. I enjoy this. And the quarter inch jack is also a very nice fat cable. It's um, whenever I plug it in and unplug it, I get that good weight and it just screams quality. Um, the material of the cable itself is um, from what I can see on the inside, it is the protected um, copper cable. But the one thing I have noticed is that with um, this particular method that they use to cover, it's almost like this ribbed rubber, I would describe it. It's, um, it's a little odd in the hands. It feels not too well connected, if you know what I mean. 
If I were to just move this by the mic, you might hear the cables inside shifting around. And other than that, the, um, the cable itself does still serve its function. It's very kink resistant. Um, everything I've seen straight out of the box, it doesn't want to stay in a loop. It just falls right out into a perfect line, which is <laughs> pretty much all I can ask from any cable. Because um, I'm sure any of you out there who have had um, even just, you know, a new pair of earbuds that come with your phone, you'll know that it's a pain to um, deal with the cables constantly trying to twist back up on themselves for at least a couple of days until they finally stretch out. Um, and going on with the quality control issues, one thing that I have noticed is with the cable itself, particularly up towards the 3.5 millimeter end that terminates into the ear cup. When I have them on and I had the cables moving around, not only do I hear the cable noise on the inside, but I've noticed that it kind of jiggles around a bit on the termination. So um, that's just about it for the build quality. Um, all in all, it is very good. Uh, the only kind of like defects I've seen are with the cable, like I mentioned, and then along the bottom of the leather here, it is a little bit deformed. It's not perfect, but I'd say for me, it's not that big of a deal, but I know for some other people, they demand perfection and they need it to be perfect, especially if you're spending $700 on a pair of headphones. Now, going into the sound itself, um, we can start up high with the treble. So the treble within the Anandas, um, for me, it's a little too sharp. It can be um, deemed fatiguing to certain people. Unfortunately, I'm one of them, um, but they are definitely very clear in their delivery. Um, it may be maybe not on the same level as the HD 800s, um, where, which are known for being very, very analytical sounding headphones, um, to which I know a lot of people actually have a trouble with the top end, and hence why the HD 800 S's came out, starts to deal with that a bit more. But um, the highs, especially when you're listening first, um, things such as cymbals, or if it's an electronic track, and um, you can notice all the like sparkly highs that are going on. The highs are very clear, regardless of whether the fact that I can't really listen to it for too long. It's really only with certain tracks, especially older ones that tend to have static in the background, because that will definitely come through on these. Most other songs, such as modern recordings, whatever it may be, comes out fairly nicely. The mids are one of the strongest points on these cans. Um, I've noticed that vocals are very pronounced and clear, and um, when listening to like polar opposite tracks, I would almost say, um, one of them being John Lennon's Imagine, uh, his voice is very clear and distinct from the rest of the track in the background, and in Billie Eilish's Bad Guy, it's uh, very easy to pinpoint where each of her vocal tracks are coming from. Uh, you'll be able to very clearly hear the one on the left, the right, and then when the chords come in, you can hear everything where they should be. So, the Ananda's bass. The bass response is uh, very adequately tight, the way I would describe it, uh, especially just comparing it to other stuff that I've listened to. One of the things I can immediately compare it to would be the Hi-Fi Man and Mass Drop HE4XXs. Um, I've had these for almost two years, I want to say, and um, they are one of my favorite headphones. Uh, now, if I'm going to draw the comparison, these have um, that signature planar punch, um, but I have noticed that they are a little bit muddy in their delivery. Better than the HE400i's, which I will hopefully be reviewing pretty soon and getting that video out, but um, it's a more pronounced bass, but it could use some work, and that's basically where these start to take over. Um, they aren't as fun sounding as the 4XXs, but I have noticed that the bass response in these is um, much tighter, cleaner, just crystal clear compared to the 4XXs, but they are more recessed. Um, if I had to describe the frequency response of the Anandas, I would say it's almost that um, upside down U shape where the bass is kind of... It's still there, very good, but it's kind of quiet. 
Then it comes up to the mid range with the vocals where you'll definitely hear every detail. You'll hear their lip smacking. You'll hear um, them taking the breath. You'll hear every detail you would need to within vocals and make it sound phenomenal. And then we go over to the treble on the other end where again, still very clear. These are very clear headphones, but it starts to drop off a little bit except when it gets towards the very, very end where those really sparkling highs kind of hit me in the ear. Now, the sound separation is very good on these headphones, uh, but that doesn't mean it has a very wide sound stage. I want to make that clear. What I mean by sound separation is you can easily pinpoint where every sound is coming from within the track. You know, there's a ukulele over here, there's a guitar over here. But once each of the voices starts to come in, you'll hear them on either side, but then everything else starts to fill back in when it gets more and more complicated of a track. You'll be able to identify where each of the instruments is in the room. Now, as for the soundstage, though, if I were to put a physical boundary on where the soundstage is, I would say it feels about like four inches outside of the cup. In, um, in a sort of, it's kind of a cardioid shape where things directly behind you don't really exist in these headphones, but as things are moving back, they are still apparent that they're there. Things beside you are really clear, and then in front of you is where most of the sound will be. Um, but with that, with most of the tracks I've been listening to, um, as far as I've been able to tell, most of the sound is still coming from within your head. Overall, the Hi-Fi Man Anandas are a very well-performing headphone. Hopefully, um, you'll be the lucky one and not get one that has issues with it, like um, unfortunately mine did, but I'm not going to put that on the company itself. I know that um, Hi-Fi Man, they are a very budget-oriented company. $700 sounds expensive, but you have to keep in mind that they offer planners in very, very affordable ranges. The 4XXs, which were a Mass Drop exclusive, now you can find them on Amazon. Uh, these are still planners, but these sell for 140 bucks, which was unheard of for the longest time within the planar magnetic realm. These are very well performing, but hopefully you are not one of the unlucky few that gets one with defects. But I, I would like to know, um, for anyone out there who may be watching this who does have the Anandas, I would like to know, what do you think of these and are you happy with your purchase? Thank you all for watching so much. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.